Can you make vegan buttercream without using a mixer completely by hand? That's what we're finding out on today's video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't met yet, I'm Natalia Lima, founder and owner of Curious Cat Bakery, an all-vegan award-winning bakery where I make everything taste just like or better than the real deal. And this is the spot where I share my tips, hacks, and recipes. In here, I've shown you before how to make vegan buttercream, I've shown you a few recipes, and I've shown you the best tips to getting it just buttery and smooth and perfect. But that was always with the help of a KitchenAid, a stand mixer. And people ask me, can you do it by hand? Can you actually do buttercream if you don't have a KitchenAid? So today I'm attempting to do just that. We're gonna try making vegan buttercream without the help of a stand mixer, and we're gonna find out, one, if it's even possible, two, how big of a hassle is it to pull it off, and three, how it compares to using a mixer to do it. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, so what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna set a timer on my phone, a stopwatch, and once it starts, I'll start gathering the ingredients and actually making the buttercream. Once I'm done with it, I'll stop the stopwatch, and we'll have how long it takes to make vegan buttercream by hand. Here goes nothing, start. First thing, we gotta get the vegan butter out of the fridge. We're also gonna need a big bowl, a sturdy bowl, and this one for the sugar. Where do I keep my sifter? Found it. And we're gonna need a whisk. A nice, sturdy whisk. We're gonna need this butter to soften if I'm going to have to whisk it and beat it with the sugar. And right now it's like really cold. You know what I'm gonna do to speed this process up? Instead of putting the butter in the microwave because that will melt it too far and then it won't be the right texture to do buttercream. I'm going to heat up this in the microwave for just a few seconds to get it a little warm and that will help the butter melt. It's like lukewarm. So this one goes back in the fridge because we're gonna use it later when we do it with the KitchenAid to compare. Meanwhile, this guy set it aside while we sit the sugar because if we're gonna need to do a buttercream by hand as you've seen in this video over here it's best if the sugar is sifted that way that way there are no lumps and you get really that smooth texture should I have put an apron before doing this 100% we're in business now and we'll just sift this and mm, come over here so if you have like little chunks like that that just won't go through the sifter, you have two options. Either you can just use your hand, of course, make sure your hands are clean and like kind of smooth it out like that and then they'll go through. Or if you don't want to put your hands in there, that's totally acceptable. Just use a spatula and kind of like mush it down like that. And there you go. We're just going to do about five cups of this into the bowl and get it ready. We're done with the sugar and it's all sifted and nice and powdery in there. Lots of air that's gonna make that nice smooth buttercream. Let's check in on our butter. Pretty hard. Like if I try to whisk that, it's just gonna get caught on all the, what is it called? Like the wire things and it's not going to actually beat into anything. So we still have to wait a little longer for this. Five minutes and we'll be ready to go. Just scroll I guess. <laughs> I'll just go on Instagram, waste some time. Four minutes later. Let's just try and start here. We'll just butter in the big bowl. A nice sturdy whisk. Like don't try these cute little frilly things. You can get a TJ Maxx. I have a whole video about how terrible these are. This one over here. This is really cute, but it's not gonna do the job, okay? This is not gonna get the job done. You need a nice sturdy whisk. I'll link to a good one. I'll link to this one, actually, in the description below if you wanna get it. Get out. I 
got this. So we got the butter to be like a nice smooth consistency. There are no lumps in there and we got it to be nice and smooth. So now we're gonna start adding that sugar a little bit by a little bit. My arm's already killing me and I'm like, I work out, there is muscle in here. See? And you have to do it slowly once you add the sugar because otherwise just it flies everywhere. Now, as this thing is thickening up, it's also getting harder to whisk the same way that it was harder when the butter was more solid. Oops, this is not ideal. A lot more work. Let's try to do this with the spatula. I think this might work better now. But in the beginning, I would definitely say you need a whisk to, you know, get that air in there mixed in as well. We're at 32 minutes right now. Coming together. It's coming together. We're good. Use less sugar than I thought we would need. I'm gonna call this one done. Stop. We are at 34 minutes and 11 seconds. Let me put this away and now we'll start all over again. But this time, I'm gonna set the timer and I'm gonna do the vegan buttercream like I've done before, like I do all the time, which is just using a KitchenAid, letting the machine do the work. Let's reset. Let's start over. We have the rest of that butter I just took from the fridge right there. So I'm just gonna throw that into the nice KitchenAid over here. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. Can you see what I'm doing? It would be great if I just move. We're gonna use the paddle attachment. And because the KitchenAid's doing the work, we don't really need the butter to soften at all. Just gonna turn it on, let it do its thing, and while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna sift the sugar. And no, I'm not reusing the sugar that I sifted from the other one. We're being fair. I'm gonna sift from scratch again, just like I did for the other recipe, and I'm gonna sift the same amount. Let's turn on the KitchenAid, get that butter going, and then I'll do the sugar while it's smoothing out the butter. We're done with the sugar. Let's check how that butter is looking. Come closer, please. This is how far we gotten. So we still got a ways to go here. I'm gonna turn this up. Butter is nice and smooth right now. It has no lumps in it, just like when I did it by hand. So now we're gonna start adding that sugar inside. All right, we're done. Stop the timer. 9 minutes and 37 seconds. So just looking at it, it looks like the texture is exactly the same doing it by hand or in the KitchenAid. But let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's pipe both of those. Let's taste both of those and see if there's really any difference at all. So this one is the one I made by hand nice and smooth it came right out did not get stuck in the piping tip or anything it just came right out now this is the KitchenAid one same thing came out super smooth it didn't get stuck in the tip either so okay now time to taste it and see if there's any difference there so let me try first and yes I'm trying it with my finger I mean you really expected me to pull out a spoon for this this is the one I made by hand perfectly smooth there's not any lumps in it melts in your mouth just like buttercream should perfect now this is the KitchenAid one 100% the same like I could not tell a difference between the two they taste exactly the same and they feel exactly the same so in summary can you make vegan buttercream by hand yes 100% you can now should you that's a whole other question so if we take a look at how much of a hassle it was it took 34 minutes and 11 seconds to do it by hand. It took nine minutes and 17 seconds to do it with the KitchenAid. Pretty big difference time-wise, but most importantly, it was the effort. Like, it was no joke doing that by hand. Like, my arms were working, but with the KitchenAid, it really was just like, let it do its thing. In a pinch, can you do it if you don't have a KitchenAid? Absolutely. Should you do it by hand because of some kind of benefit? I don't see one. They taste exactly the same. 
So the good thing is that if you don't have a KitchenAid, you don't need one to make vegan buttercream. But if you do have a KitchenAid, just do yourself a favor and do it with that. I mean, or don't. I mean, maybe you like getting an arm workout. I always go the simpler route, so I would recommend using the KitchenAid. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It will show YouTube that there's some valuable information in here and it will show it to other vegans in the algorithm. Now, if you're ready to make some buttercream vegan with or without a KitchenAid, I actually have a whole playlist solely devoted to vegan buttercream. You can check it out over here. The link will be in the description below. And if after watching this, you've realized that you actually would prefer to just get a stand mixer to help you out in this job, I don't blame you. I have a whole video where I broke down whether getting a KitchenAid is the right move for you as a baker. You can check that out over here. I will see you guys here next week. Until then, stay curious.